All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab is in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today, I am in the house with this pretty cool skiff accomplice right over here with me for our review. And as usual, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave me a comment right here down below. And let me know what you guys think about this fella, because that's a pretty cool one. It is a, a custom knife stiff skiff, um, uh, US made. It is a liner log, it is a fancy one. It is just gorgeously made. I reviewed this uh, knife uh, uh, several times, I believe. And uh, this is just like a fancy one. I need to say a huge shout out to my buddy Tim for sending this fella along. So I'm able to share my impressions with you and just to uh, show you how good these knives are. Um, let me just uh, wipe this gorgeously done. Look at the finish, like satin finish on the flat on the primary bevel, and you have polished flats, like gorgeously done. And the swedge, of course, is satin as well. Spine polished. You get some uh, um, Mokutai bolsters right over here look at this color here guys look at this fantastic uh, white uh, paper micarta you have titanium liners titanium backspacer with diamond uh, uh, in uh, like sculpted uh, pattern blue anodized as well centering backspacer and polished on the inside is just stunning guys uh mokutai pocket clip uh really really cool this area over here is beautiful when you know the, the this part of the blade matches perfectly the outline of that is just fantastic and right over here yeah i really like this area uh of the knife so you have of course like construction is quite simple you get a couple screws here one for the bolster and this is the uh, pivot so um, to take it apart of course like remove the scales and then you have other screws going on through the uh, uh, liners so um, it is very very well made I cannot feel the transition right over here it's beautifully flush uh, in this direction in this direction is pleasant to the touch uh, I like that this screw is kind of like uh, camouflaged, but I always prefer uh, bolster with without that screw right there. Like for example, this fella over here, you see, has uh, has been screwed in from the inside, so it's kind of like clean, right? Whereas here you have a little bit of uh, that showing, and uh, these two, of course, they don't look that bad. This one. It should have been like maybe a little bit lower, right? Just did not to be right there. So kind of like in this situation here, you have, uh, or, or I mean here, so it's not like just there. So it's just a little bit off or just hide it underneath if you can. Not always you can, but I mean, that's just like an aesthetical thing. This goes the same for that. Um, and I mean, beside that little touch, I have nothing to say. I can say maybe there's no internal skeletonization on the liners, but uh, there's a nice jeweling going on. There is some nice uh, file work going on on the inside of the spacer. Look at that. That is a gorgeous uh, finish for sure. Added work. I like this little area here to add some real estate to disengage the lock bar. Something I want to talk you about after, right after we check the weight uh, because this is not like super lightweight in the pocket is gonna be like 5.71 ounces so not like a lightweight but the sound guys there's something uh, special about this thwack and tin and deep thwack Oof. I really hope you can appreciate this whipping sound because it's just amazing it's one of the most satisfactory sounding knives ever tried like very deep whipping sound and i'm not just there's no wrist it's just like this <laughs> it's gorgeous guys love this sound the ergos i also love because it's nicely done it's a little bit on the slippery side because of the polish the nature of uh, uh, the scale but uh, and of course it's like kind of slippery because there's no real texturing going on but still 
It is a fantastically made knife, of course, runs on skiff bearings. Uh, there's no drop shot ac um, guillotine effect kind of thing going on, but just a little nudge is gonna be enough to get the blade in the closed position, uh, centered, no lock rock, no lock stick, no blade plate. This thing is solid. It is built like a tank. It sounds like a tank, but it looks really, really elegant, kind of like of a gentleman's knife. So it is a really cool one. There you have it, guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.